Hi guys, Ben here from 100 N Man, and this is just a follow on from the stress series that I've been doing sporadically. So, I just want to talk about the managing stress with regards to factors outside of your control. certain times in life we're faced with situations that aren't aligned with a predetermined destination, with a predetermined journey. And as I say this, and as I was thinking it, I myself have been stopped in my tracks. Now two things have happened this morning for me. One, I was going for a run. In my mind I had a destination that I wanted to get to run that I've done before, a location that I really like, I enjoy going to, and for some reason, overnight, the highways agency has decided to block that road and stop me in my tracks. Now, I could have sat and waited in my car for, you know, 30, 40 minutes, when the run itself was only an hour, got to the destination, done the run after probably going through a number of negative thoughts and emotions while sat there stuck in traffic frustrated about the lack of movement or I could remain flexible and think slightly laterally and find another route as it happens I found another route I got out it's a nice route I've done it before and I got back showered and back again on my journey in a lot less time than it would have been to just continue to wait. And yeah, again, I finished. I'm on my journey again now and the road is blocked because someone is moving house. You know, the removals company have pretty much blocked the, the main A road. Uh, there's slow moving traffic. This is normally a 40 mile an hour zone and I'm doing 15. Now, I could become frustrated. I have places to be. I'm going somewhere now and then on to somewhere else. And I could become frustrated. I could become angry. And all of that negative vibe, that negative energy that I'm pushing out to the world actually is not going to speed things up. People are still going to move. The car in front is still going to travel at 15 miles an hour. The only person it affects and is affecting would be me. And the more you increase those fight or flight responses within the body, the more you make decisions which aren't Proactive, an actual factor counterproductive to any kind of progress. And I haven't always thought this way. I remember once during my military days, I was on a special type of course. It was a residential course. I was away from home. And I went home one night we were going to the Brecon Beacons the following day. I'd set my alarm. I had to be back at my base to depart at a certain time. And I woke up 15 minutes and about 80 miles away before I was meant to be leaving. Now, I should have left the night before, should have been back at my base packed. As it happens, I rushed, I got to the location, uh, got to my point, I was disciplined as a result of it. I forgot my socks, in my, I packed my kit, my preparation was all over the place. Packed my kit, actually forgot my socks and in the end had to use two pairs of socks for five days, trekking over the Brecon Beacons not particularly comfortable but a very good learning experience for me as an individual and it stays with me that kind of that day and I've 
not made that mistake again. I was frustrated at everybody else. I was frustrated about others. I was frustrated about circumstance. I, at the time, probably drove far too quick to get to my location in the dark at speeds that potentially could have not only killed me but other e other people. I was reckless to a certain degree. I then arrived back, made various excuses as to why I wasn't there on time. Packed my kit, and complained. Emotionally I was all over the place, throwing everything in my kit bag. No preparation whatsoever. Which is quite rare because at the time I was relatively a, I'd say mature for my age, but also had good learning about that kind of stuff. I was calculated, but that, for, for whatever reason, I wasn't. And my fingers were very much pointing at everything else when reflecting back, actually it was me. You know, I knew what the right thing to do was at the time. I should have gathered my thoughts. Despite being late, I should have owned up. My fault, no one else to blame. I'm going to be there at said time. I'm not going to put myself or others in harm way. But that initial response of the excuse of worry of stress caused me to make choices, as I've said, that weren't productive to me or those around. So the short lesson is that if things aren't going your way, you're faced with circumstances that are stressful, but you have no control over the external factors, then before going off finger pointing, before going off and being frustrated at the outside world and others, perhaps just take a moment to think and pause. Bring an awareness back to self. Let some of that stress and anger and frustration disappear because in the long run, it is not productive. Every element of stress that affects or induces that fight or flight response offers just only resistance. You see it a lot when you're driving. More so when you're consciously driving, you know, not thinking about anything else but just that driving. You see people edging out onto the road. You see people squeezing to get through gaps when they could just wait a few yards behind. And it gets them nowhere. You know, when you're on the road as a cyclist, you really begin to be aware of it. You know, I've ridden motorcycles for 11 20 odd years now and you're aware of it then so that's it um, just about that I just thought I'd mention it because as I was waiting in that traffic there I could see stress and some negative emotions from people and I thought it was uh, relevant just to uh, put it out there so if you're stressed today, if there's an element of anger, frustration at others, then, as I said, just bring that awareness back to self. Take just a few deep breaths and release some of that negative energy and put things into perspective. You know, how important is it for you to get there five minutes earlier but take some risks that are just simply not worth it? You know, there's enough anger in the world doesn't need any more and in the bigger spectrum of things in the greater world is it really worth it so that's it hopefully some wise words for some others uh, hope all is well please check out the details in the description below uh, there's a link to my stress book in there although this is not a plug uh, I've had some people message and say that it's helped them and just these little videos are helping others just to release some of those aspects and put things into perspective so 
thank you to those that have left some kind words and feedback. I really appreciate it. It motivates and inspires me to make more at the end of the day. Have a good day. Peace out. Be safe.